All right, so today we got a quick little tutorial for some Tyranid Malanthropes. These are going to be High Fleet Leviathan, the white skin with the black carapace that's uh, very purple and some red talons. Uh, but you can see I've already primed him white. You can see it up here. It's just white primer. And then I did a wash over the whole body. Uh, you didn't have to do the scales because you're going to paint them black anyway, so there's no reason to do that. And then I let that dry, and now I'm going to do a pure white dry brush. The white I'm using is one of my favorites. It is dead white from Game Color, but you can use any white you prefer. So this, unlike a regular dry brush, this is actually going to be pretty thick. So I've got my, you can see, just keep a, I recommend this is the top to my, um, my brush rinser. Um, but I recommend you keep a, a plate or a CD or, you know, something flat on your desk just so you can work out the bristles when you're dry brushing. Uh, that way you don't get anything dirty and, you, and then you always have that to hand uh, rather than messing up your palette because the palette isn't for that. Uh, but you get it pretty wet. It doesn't have to be completely uh, dry. You can kind of see I'm getting a lot on my hand pretty easily uh, because we're trying to cover up a majority of this. So you're going to be layering this on pretty heavy. And you want to get pretty much everything you went over, just getting that detail to show up in the, in the recesses. Now I'm going to show you one that I've already got done so you know what it'll look like. Now he's already done. He, You can see it's mostly white. You see all that stuff in the cracks and especially in between all the ribbed parts. And then for the carapace you just take a black. This is actually a nice flat black. I wanted a little bit more of a gloss so I switched over to regular Chaos Black or Abaddon Black now from Games Workshop. So I'm going to actually be going over that again and this one is a lot glossier. Uh, but that's all you gotta do. Just paint the uh, claws here and all of the carapace in black. And then let that all dry and then I will see you in a minute for the next couple steps. Alright, so we've got all the black done. So for this next part we need to paint all of the little claws. So for this I've got some corn red, which is a nice darker red base color. So I'm gonna just take that and you're gonna paint like 90% of each claw. So instead of doing all of it, I'm gonna do most of it. So you get a little black showing on one side. And you're gonna do that, you're gonna flip around, and you're gonna do that to each claw. And then all the little protrusions and stuff. So like over here, go ahead, this here, all these little spikes. And then when you're done, it'll look like this when it's dry. So pretty. It's actually looks darker in real life. Uh, and then we'll do switch over and we'll do some corn red. So this, or Mephiston red this time. It's a little bit brighter. You do that again, most of the way down. But you gotta leave a little bit of that red showing from the previous layer. You do that on the little claws too. Once that's done, we're going to switch to another red here in just a second. Alright, so now we got that part done. That's the two layers of red. Now we're going to switch to an even brighter red, which is Waz Docker Red from GW. So we're going to grab. And this time, I'll just follow the same process, and this just is for the very ends. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Now, if you want to, you can add either some orange or some white to that now, to make it just a little bit brighter. Here's an example of doing some orange. So this is Troll Slayer Orange, also from DW. Um, it ends up being a little thicker, or sorry, thinner than normal. So you can just do it straight from the pot, you don't have to thin it. But here is that little bit of orange. And you just do it on the very tips, like the very tip of each one. But it tends to dry a little darker than the way it is now. So it looks okay. Do it on both of these front ones so you can see. There you go. It's that little bit of orange. If you lay it on really thick, then you see it. But yeah, just like that. And then here in a second, we'll do the carapace and a couple of little things, and we'll be done. Now that that step is done, we're going to switch to the black carapace. And the reason it's black is because we're going to get it to look like this one, which is done really nicely. And you can see how it all meshes together. It's funny how High Fleet Leviathan is mostly black but it does look very purple when you're done. So I'm gonna do uh, some Xerius purple, and this you're gonna do a lot more than the other two colors that follow it. So I'll show you on the, the back panel here. So you're gonna do a line right down the middle. It can be a little thick, it just has to be distinctly a line. 
Then you're gonna go up about a third of the way. And the reason for that is because you have two more layers. And so if you do it very thinly, then you can't show off the other two layers. So I'll show you, I'm just gonna do these two panels really quickly. You can see how easy it is. And you're just using the tip of your brush to do these jagged lines. So you'll get rid of, it helps since I got a lot on here, I'm gonna put most of it down here. And then by that time that's done, most of it should be gone. And then I can just do strokes. Same here, you can just do just like that. Doesn't take a lot. You just make sure that there are a lot of hills and valleys. And then you do that to the entire thing. I'll show you on the head here too, because the head is a little different. The head, you don't have nearly the surface area. So instead you're just gonna do thicker lines. So we'll do lines all the way down. And depending on what black you use or how thick the paint is, you may have to do two layers of this. Um, but as long as you get a good purple color, you can just feel a, a way to do it. And like I said, here it's just thick lines. And then you gotta make sure to get the other side over here. All the detail will come from the other two layers. So just do lines on this one, because there's not a lot of place to do that ribbing. And then on here, I actually did both sides, because you're gonna see this more from the front but you want it to stay the same from the back. So there you go. Yep, and then right like that. And so those are kind of the armor panels we get. And then I actually did like this dorsal fin thing, these spikes up here. I just did those all in purple as well to mesh with everything else. And then we'll come back to that on the next two layers and I'll show you what else to do. All right, now that part is completely done and you can see how far I've gone on it. Uh, it doesn't look like much now because there isn't any depth to the panels yet, but we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna do some jean stealer purple this time and so we're gonna use this as our, as our first highlight and you can see on this panel we're gonna go right down the middle make sure you don't go all the way to the edge though and then we're going to go up like that same technique we did before and again if the paint is too thin you might have to do two layers but I've, if, as long as you make sure to go over the same purple you did before you should have Just like that, and then you repeat that step until you arrive at this right here. That's what it's supposed to look like. So we'll come back in a second and we'll do the final highlight on the carapace, and then a couple more things. We'll do. Now that that is done, we're going to use some Slanesh Gray as the final highlight on the carapace. Now this is going to be a lot thinner than before, and we're going to just do the very edges. So. Again, we're going to want to line right down the middle, but a lot thinner this time. And then we're going to want to do the very edge. Same technique, but a lot less of it. And this just catches the light more than the other colors to really define that edge of the armor plating. And that helps a lot because it really blocks in because of the black on the other side. It'll actually block in the colors a lot better. And then I'll grab one so you can see what it looks like when that is all done, which is this one here. So there you go here. You can kind of see the comparison without doing that layer. It's actually pretty big. And that's just one layer difference. But now that that's done, I'm going to do the uh, some touches to like this, uh, the sacks um, and then the tail. And that's it. At this point, it's mostly done, but we're going to look at all these like sacks on his side he needs a little something else so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some Nurgle's Rot technical paint but instead of layering it on really thickly like I usually do we're gonna use it as more of an accent so what you're gonna do is you just get a bunch on your brush like that but instead of applying it uh, all over what you're gonna do is you're going to spread it out so you'll put some on and then we'll kinda get it to where it goes all the way around there we go because we want to still see what's underneath so if you see it layering on a little too thickly just keep moving it around because that's about what we want that consistency and you just need it on the sacks and all the cables that's it uh, if you want to you can add a little bit to the ends that's probably what I'll do here It fits the whole aesthetic of a melanthrope because it's constantly spurting out toxic fumes 
These guys are the are the uh, the units that convert the atmosphere, make it harder to breathe. Kind of like the uh, capillary towers. And then get some more here. If you put a little less on the brush, you can also have a little more control. So you can just do a little bit, but I kind of like putting it on a little thick. Otherwise, what's the point? But there we go. That's it. That's all you need to do. Doesn't take a lot. But there we go. One completed melanthrope. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll keep trying to do more tutorials like this in the future.